So guys, today we are going to discover four new perfumes from the natural indie brand that's based in France and is called Feel It Perfumes de Voyage. So make sure to keep on watching to find out my thoughts about them. And if you've never heard about this brand, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up because I hope you will learn something new and interesting from it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time. And once you're done with that, we can get started. Welcome everyone! Today I'm glad to be back and talk about Feel It perfumes that I discussed with you in the past and I will leave links to my previous videos dedicated to their fragrances and link to their official website that you can look up to find out more about their concept down below in the description box. But first things first, I want to introduce you to this brand. And so Feel It composes and designs travel size perfumes in a portable format so you can carry them with you wherever you go. And for Feel It, which is ethical and authentic brand, the perfume is in the rate trips and all the inspirations for the fragrances are different countries that are portrayed in these fragrances so they become memories which share emotion and different discoveries so i highly recommend you to feel these fragrances and also i really like their approach for creating perfume because um, their production contributes to countries' economic development and conservation of traditional crafts. Also, the packaging is environmentally friendly due to a limited use of materials. And all fragrances come in refillable bottles, which is really cool. So it's an eco-friendly brand, as you've already understood. And this is Benny's favorite fragrance from this brand that is called Bali, because it's about sunny and sexy smelling just it smells absolutely amazing and you can really smell the energy of the place it was inspired by so each bottle can be refilled which is really cool and they all have different color stories and very interesting notes so I highly recommend you to check out their website but today we are gonna look at the four new perfumes that I've been really curious about and so I want to begin with a fragrance that is called Amante and by the way I got all of these in 11 ml size travel sprays and I like that uh, on the packaging you get the main notes and kind of like the color story and some materials so that's pretty cool and this particular one was inspired by the summer in Andalusia so you can only imagine it's hot and happy energy right by the way look at the color of this juice you know why it's so bright and vivid well I will tell you one of the main materials in this fragrance is the note of Mandora and this is some sort of like a new citrus material on the market that hasn't been used that many times and it's kind of like a hybrid of orange and mandarin and it smells extremely juicy it's mysterious it's slightly unknown so when you smell fragrance with mandora that i first heard about from sarah mccartney you will definitely smell the difference in this pop of citrus in the opening but other than that there is note of neroli fig leaves lemon and vetiver but the main focus is definitely on the citrus accord and although i personally love such fresh stimulating citrusy fragrances in the summertime because you know it's hot and i want something refreshing this one I could wear also in the winter because I associate the scent of mandarins with Christmas and uh, since mandarin and orange play such an important role in this composition I would totally recommend you to check it out for the holiday season. It's a unisex perfume. It has a very happy, very sunny energy, like a vacation somewhere in south of Spain. But with that being said, I want to move on to the complete opposite to sunny and beautiful bright Amante and talk about the ice fragrance. So you can tell it has different color palette and uh, it really evokes some um, something minty when you smell it so it's kind of like a very aromatic ambery scent and it has nothing in common with the traditional amber that is vanillic and oriental kind of um, 
balsamic because this is truly icy, very cooling, quite spicy because the note of pepper is really outstanding in there as well as eucalyptus and probably because of it I smell something a little bit bitter, something really Nordic in there and it's a wintry fragrance, you know, it smells quite cold and uh, in the dry down it turns absolutely undescribably beauty. Full. <laughs> so yeah, it's a moderate scent with notes of bergamot and eucalyptus, geranium, black pepper, gorgium, balsam, cedar wood and oak moss. So it's very sparkling, fresh and I feel like in the opening it has more of a masculine energy, but I prefer it's dry down. And since I get, you know, these masculine notes of geranium, eucalyptus and spices in there, I would recommend it for men, but it's probably my most worn fragrance out of all four, although I struggle with it the most, but there is something in the dry down that I find so beautiful and it just goes well, you know, with these cold winter mornings. So yeah, that's an interesting one. One that I also recommend you guys to check out but something that I think everyone will enjoy is perfume which name I cannot pronounce because you know it's in French and who sucks at French of course Yana does but anyway I will try Jolie Q <laughs> I did my best um, with notes of vanilla tonka and cacao fragrance that uh, is the creation that's inspired by reunion islands opens with the most beautiful sweet scent ever and as you know I'm a big fan all right it came out of the box of gourmand scents and I like sweet perfumes I could not be happier about this one because right away in the opening yes you will get delicious but not a sweet vanilla note there are almonds for the powderness there is cacao with its you know kind of like toasted effect and lots of tonka beans and caramel but you know what it smells really really delicious grown up maybe even woody um it's not your typical gourmand and for me it has a very calming and relaxing effect that's why I like to wear it before I go to bed so I feel really cozy and really good in my own skin it's fragrance that's not overwhelming it uh, is a little bit oriental and just so beautiful as you might remember I'm a big fan of vanilla notes in perfumery and it is quite powerful because it can really change the way we, we feel and um, just make us happier so this is another one that everyone will enjoy because who doesn't like a good gourmand fragrance guys but with that being said uh, for the last but not least uh, fragrance i saved the most mysterious and the darkest one which is called patchouli and as the name suggests it's about the raw material patchouli which you know i'm a big fan of i love patchouli a lot i find patchouli smells so expensive and uh, this patchouli is very interesting so this is uh, how it looks and uh, patchouli is this very multifaceted material because it smells earthy and woody and it can smell chocolatey and this interesting fragrance is um, twisted in many different ways so there are notes of bergamot cardamom incense ylang ylang alami patchouli amorous benzoin and sesame which i smell in there because as you might know even if you add a little bit of sesame to food it can really change its uh, taste and i really like how it's incorporated into this pretty patchouli dominant scent that is a little bit incensey, that is a little bit spicy, that is even a little bit sweetened and definitely super aromatic. For me this is a hardcore fragrance that I would want to wear in the nighttime when I'm going out, maybe even to some kind of festival, let's say in the Woodstock style. And although this fragrance is not massively old-fashioned somehow it hits on the hippie style so if you love patchouli and you like shipras and you like powerful scents and if you like perfumes that just smell expensive and you want it to smell like perfume but you want it also to smell natural and uh, just like a niche fragrance you know niche fragrances smell woodsy and 
There is just something undescribable about them. This is how this one smells. I even sprayed it on the couch and my entire living room smells just like a perfume boutique. So it's one of my biggest favorites. I think it's for the brave ones among you because this perfume is bewitching. And on that note, that was all from me I wanted to share with you today. Those were my thoughts and impressions of four new perfumes from Philit, which are Amante, Ice, Jolly Kui and Patchouli. Let me know which one of these sounded most interesting to you. And I highly recommend you to support this brand because they have amazing concept. They do amazing job on the packaging and presentation. Their fragrances smell differently from other perfumes. And uh, you can get samples. So please check them out. And if you have any questions left, if I didn't cover something, please ask me anything you want in the commentary section. I'm excited to hear from you and I love to chat with you. So let's do that. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time. And please give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new from it so other people can do so too. And you can even support my channel on buying a coffee website. Link is below. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure to stay tuned and smell good. We'll see each other next one really soon. Bye, guys.